Hi Aquarius, happy birthday. So we're going to go ahead with love readings for February instead of doing generals first because I didn't do the love readings for the end of January. And it's February. Everybody thinks about love. Ooh. So we have a card already, an oracle card. Um, darkest fears. And if you look up at that guy's uh, head, there's like an eclipse going on, which is interesting because you do have, well, there's an eclipse in the season of Aquarius, but it is in the sign of Leo on the 31st of January. So usually when eclipses happen, people start to recognize things that need to be taken out of their lives. Is there something that needs to be taken out of your life? Or is it an ideal of who you are? Or are you guys just perfectly fine? I kind of feel like the fixed signs are moving forward. It may be that 2018 push, but you guys are really, the thing is, is like with, uh, with the Aquarians, you guys are so confident on the outside and like, I'm just going to go and do what I want to do. You're very headstrong about it and you want to be right about it. But in your mind, are you like worried? about moving forward. Eight of Wands was the first card that came out. Is there a fear about going in that direction that you know you're supposed to go in? I don't know. I think you guys, it's so funny because you can get wrapped up in your heads a lot, often, very often and be worried about what's going on in the world around you instead of just focusing on the life that you have right in front of you. It's like, don't worry about what the fuck everybody else is doing in your life. Just worry about your business. The moon. <clears throat> There's the eclipse. So what's the eclipse gonna do to push you forward? Is there something about yourself that you have to look at so you could be in a relationship or guided in a way? Ace of Pentacles. Mm. Okay. I can see that. I can see that. What are you afraid of? I just like literally heard every single one of you be like, bitch, I'm not afraid of anything. I know. But is that true? Are you being true to yourself when you say that? Because you guys know what you want. And you're going to get it. And sometimes you can be ruthless to do it. To get what you want. And you guys got some good things coming up this year. Some really good stuff coming up this year. But, you know, we talked about in the last one, like, who's, whose toes are you stepping on to get there? Who are you walking on to get there? Because you want to be the emperor. And it's not that you're stepping on toes. <clears throat> it's really funny. I'm surprised that, uh, like, this guy didn't fall down on me when I, when I said that. There wasn't, like, a tidal wave that came through my window. I'm nowhere near water. Six of Wands. Knight of Cups. Bottom of the deck is the Hanged Man. So, <clears throat> we have Scorpio. We have Aries. We have Pisces. We have a water sign here for sure. Could be anybody. 
But I think that you're so focused right now on this direction, on where you want to go to be recognized, to be in control of your money. Because this is a gift. This is being like handed to you from the universe, this Ace of Pentacles. And you're like being pushed in that direction. So you're like so focused on that right now that whoever this Knight of Cups is that comes in, you're like, I don't know about that so much. Strength. The world. Four of Wands. Four of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So... Being afraid to end a cycle. It's like you're afraid of this lunar eclipse to come up. But the world is begging you right now. The universe is begging you to be strong to get through it. If you have a fire sign in your life that is a Leo or an Aries, sorry about the noise in the background. Um, I feel like these people here are the ones that are, it's like you're on the fence about them. He, she, them, doesn't matter. And these people have been coming up often. Aries Leo and it's like you've been like hey recognize me recognize me see I've got good stuff coming I've got stability coming I have the ace of Pentacles coming I have the world coming but they put you in the four of swords you know and then we have you the queen of swords and the star I could keep going. The Wheel of Fortune, Ten of Cups. They put you in suspension. And all you're looking for is stability. But these people put you in sus suspension. And, or person. And they put you in this four of swords. I can't even fucking talk. It's like, you guys like won't let me get it out already. Before you start yelling at me, stop yelling at me. I'm going to get it out, I promise. Four of Swords. This is where they're putting you. Guarded, healing. It's like, you've been a mess, and all you want is to be stable. All you want is to have some love in your life. You know, you want to offer it. You want to get it. Well, I can tell you, Aquarius, that it's coming. That happiness, that Ten of Cups, that Ten of Cups happiness, that very stable relationship, Hierophant. But the fear of what you're going to have to get rid of to get this happiness is really killing you right now. Like that, the fear of having to get rid of this fiery energy here, whoever the Leo or the Aries or just this very controlling factor of your life, whoever is in control right now, because an Aquarius always wants to be in control of their shit, of what's going on around them. Just plain and simple. That's the way it is, right? Except you're not in control of your stability right now. And the lunar eclipse is showing you that or going to show you that. And up until then, from now until January 31st, so those first two weeks in February, you have some serious thinking to do about what direction you want to head in. 
because you have the Ten of Cups and this very stable spiritual relationship you could be in. with someone, the water sign, but you got to get unstuck because people are putting you in the nine of swords and the tower, there's that king of wands, I don't care if it's a Leo or if it's an Aries, but damn, they got you struck down. They have you up in your head, Aquarius. And the eclipse is making it clear, clear, clear to you that somebody's got to get kicked out. Or something and maybe it's not the king of wands that has to be kicked out maybe the king of wands came in and showed you the part of you that needs to be let go of so you can have this ten of cups happiness it's very possible so <clears throat> when that fear comes up towards the end of the month, I just want you to know all of the beautiful forward movement you guys have coming, that recognition, this support, this stability, you know? I mean, you don't have to be in the Nine of Swords anymore. You don't have to be in a tower moment. Tower moments happen. We all have them. They're okay. You know, I mean, sometimes they're not okay. But behind the tower is the Ten of Cups. That's what happens. You rebuild. There's always something better after a tower. Always. Unless you sit, like the hanged man, if you sit in that tower energy, for how long? Up in agony worried about this fire sign or worried about what the fire sign said to you to make you realize that kind of shocked you into oh my god now I have to change something shit I don't wanna but it brings stability and recognition and forward movement and good luck and prosperity and aces and you don't have to be guarded. Not once you let go. Right? Makes sense though, doesn't it? So, If you're going through this tower moment right now and it's the end of January and things are starting to become clear already and you're already up in that darkest fears, I mean like literally two nine of swords. If you're already there right now, this lunar eclipse that's in Leo is going to hold your hand while you decide what needs to go, whether it's an ideal of you, if it's a person, if it's a relationship. It doesn't have to be a person or a relationship. It could just be a way of thinking, a way of living your life. Something has to be changed. Some lesson that you have learned <clears throat> In this cycle, in this last year, in this last, you know, 10 years, 20 years, whatever, whatever lesson that's been, <coughs> excuse me, whatever lesson this has been, behind it is so fiery and passionate. 
And this lunar eclipse will help you move forward, move out of that. And so I really want you to take that opportunity because once this eclipse is done and you've built up that resolve again, that very Aquarius resolve, I mean, let's go. Let's go. Move forward into happiness. Let's start that new cycle into Ten of Cups, into the Ace of Pentacles stability. You know, I mean, this is the resolve that I'm talking about. This Queen of Swords resolve. So much fire, so much air in this reading. So, I hope you guys have a really great February. Um, I am going to be traveling on the road this week and next week. Um, I'll be in Pensacola, Florida this weekend, the end of this weekend, and I will be in West Palm Beach all of next week, um, or like the end of next week into the beginning of the following week. So, if you would like to see me while I am in Florida, let me know, give me an email, shout, and I will um, give you all the details. Um, also, um, use the Instinct Go app. The uh, link for that is below. And if you would like to have a personal reading, that link is also below. Um, and you guys are really fantastic. Thanks for all the support. We hit 20,000 subscribers. I say we because I'm not doing this on my own. You guys are so such a huge, gigantic part of this. Um, I'm just a tiny little Midwest girl that did this on a leap of faith. I was the fool one day, and um, it has grown bigger than I ever imagined, and um, you guys are fantastic. You guys are the reason behind everything that I do. You, I love waking up every single day knowing that I'm going to get to talk to you guys and help you. Um, through all of life's spiritual lessons that we have. Um, so thank you for being on this journey with me. I'm having a really great time. And I hope you guys have a great February, and I will be doing general readings as well. So I'll see you for your general reading. Bye.